Between the Last Supper and going and praying to God in the garden on Friday, man, that was a definitely a different vibe. Let's talk about that. Aquafina, not a sponsor. Anyway, look, Katie, I got through that without saying anything. I'm proud of you. Yes. Well, um, <clears throat> so today is Monday, Thursday. Monday. What does Monday mean? Monday, Thursday is celebrated on Thursday, April 14th, 2022. The name is thought of the Middle English de de derived from taken from the Latin anthem sung in Roman Catholic churches of. Monotum novum do vobius. My Latin's not good. I said, wow. Uh, a new commandment I give to you, John 13, 34, which we did a few days ago, which is... Love one another. Yep, love one another, as oh. I have loved you. Okay. And then Monday, Thursday, also celebrates the Last Supper that he had with his disciples um, before he went through all that pain. So, today was... Uh, kind of like the celebration, they sat around the table. Said, Today's like still a happy day, really. Yeah. And he, you know, he said the person who dips in the cup with me is going to betray me. And Judas was still there eating the meal with him. And uh, the disciples were like, "Yeah, right. You're not. You're not going to die." Okay. Uh, so they just had a meal, but Jesus had other plans. And so he was trying to convey these plans to them, and they just they just couldn't understand. Um, but this is where we in institute the uh, last, you know, the Last Supper or the Lord's Supper that we have every Sunday. Oh yeah. And um, so, and then he went to the garden and he prayed and prayed and prayed uh, that uh, this cup would come away from him, and they didn't have to go through all this pain and and sorrow and hurt. And God said, "No, there's no other way." And so he did it. So and then we get to Matthew chapter 26, verse 38, and he says, Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. So there have been points in my life where, I mean, it, it felt like I was going to die. I mean, I'm very overwhelmed with sorrow, just like, yeah, just a puddle of mess. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if I was that overwhelmed that Jesus was. I mean, Jesus definitely understood stands us because he went through pretty much hell and back uh, with his pain, his sorrow, his hurt, um, and yet he still forgave us. Um, so it's hard for me not to forgive somebody, uh, no matter what they've done to me. It takes a long time sometimes for me to forgive them, and it shouldn't, but my human side wants to fight the battle instead of my spiritual side. <clears throat> So he went from this awesome meal around the table with his disciples to in the garden saying, look, I am just overwhelmed. Sit here and watch with me. Now, that that's a really interesting thing that he says, stay here and keep watch with me. Um, and then he, you know, they don't and they go fall asleep. And he says the flesh is weak, but the spirit is strong. And so their flesh is weak and they just couldn't stay up. I mean... If Katie and I were in the garden with oh. him, we were like... Oh, if, it, if it was past 8.30, you're yep, right. We, we're done. We'd be done. And uh, so it just... They wanted to be with him. They wanted to stay awake. It just... When you get to that point, you're like... You know, that head bobbing This is thing. the same garden where he's arrested, right? Yeah, Garden of Gethsemane. You think he's... It's interesting because he says, keep watch. You think he was waiting for... Oh, him. yeah. He, he knew, for he knew Judas, Judas was coming. Yeah. Um... And so just this sorrow to the point of death. And then he says, keep watch with me. And I think he's still saying that with us. Keep watch with me. You know, keep, keep your eye on things. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your, you know, wits about you. Um, look at godly wisdom instead of the worldly wisdom. You know, still keep watch with me. Um, and again, we could say, even today, our flesh is weak, but our spirit is strong. You know, our spirit wants to do these things, but then our human side always argues with us. And so I think it's still relevant today that um, even though we have these joyous occasions of Easter, we get around this huge meal, we get around family, we have fun. Um, it's still, it's an everyday battle. And so even after Easter, we still have victory, but it's our human side that suffers and 
sorrow to the point of death, struggling with sin until we get to heaven and then we don't have to struggle anymore. So my encouragement for you today is what are you struggling with? And is God saying, keep watch with me and he's helping you or are you trying to do it yourself? Let God take it. Uh, if Jesus prayed these things and God took it away, not the punishment, not the human side, but he definitely comforted him uh, through his trials. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Thursday. Bye-bye now. <clears throat> that was long. Was it?